Staph infections are caused by Staphylococcus bacteria, which are types of germs commonly found on the skin or in the nose of even healthy individuals. Most of the time, these bacteria cause no problems or result in relatively minor skin infections. But staph infections can turn deadly if the bacteria invade deeper into your body, entering your bloodstream, joints, bones, lungs, or heart. A growing number of otherwise healthy people are developing life-threatening staph infections. Staph infections can range from minor skin problems to endocarditis, a life-threatening infection of the inner lining of your heart. Because of this, signs and symptoms of staph infections vary widely, depending on the location and severity of the infection. Skin infections caused by staph include boils. The most common type of staph infection is the boil. A pocket of pus that develops in a hair follicle or oil gland. The skin over the infected area usually becomes red and swollen. If a boil breaks open, it will probably drain pus. Boils occur most often under the arms or around the groin or buttocks. Often painful rash can be caused by staph bacteria. Impetigo usually features large blisters that may ooze fluid and develop a honey-colored crust. Cellulitis Cellulitis is an infection of the deeper layers of the skin which causes skin redness and swelling on the surface of your skin. Sores or areas of oozing discharge may develop too. Staphylococcal scaled skin syndrome Toxins produced as a result of staph infection may lead to staphylococcal scaled skin syndrome, affecting mostly babies and children. This condition features a fever, a rash, and sometimes blisters. When the blisters break, the top layer of skin comes off, leaving a red raw surface that looks like a burn. The second symptom of staph infection we will be looking at is food poisoning. Staph bacteria are one of the most common causes of food poisoning. Symptoms come on quickly, usually within hours of eating a contaminated food. Symptoms usually disappear quickly too, often lasting just half a day. A staph infection in food usually doesn't cause a fever. Signs and symptoms you can expect with this type of staph infection include Nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, dehydration, and low blood pressure. The third symptom of staph infection we will be looking at is bacteremia. Also known as bloodstream infection, bacteremia occurs when staph bacteria enters a person's bloodstream. A fever and low blood pressure are signs of bacteremia. The bacteria can travel to locations deep within your body to produce infections affecting internal organs such as your brain, heart, or lungs, bones and muscles, surgically implanted devices such as artificial joints or cardiac peacemakers. The fourth symptom of staph infection we will be looking at is Toxic shock syndrome. This life-threatening condition results from toxins produced by some strains of staph bacteria and has been linked to certain types of tampons, skin wounds, and surgery. It usually develops suddenly with a high fever, nausea and vomiting, a rash on your palms and soles that resembles a sunburn, confusion, muscle aches, diarrhea, and stomach pain. 
The last symptom of staph infection we will be looking at is septic arthritis. Septic arthritis is often caused by a staph infection. The bacteria often target the knees, shoulders, hips, and fingers or toes. Signs and symptoms may include joint swelling, severe pain in the affected joint, and fever. Causes of staph infection Many people carry staph bacteria and never develop staph infections. However, if you develop a staph infection, there's a good chance that it's from the bacteria you've been carrying around for some time. These bacteria can also be transmitted from person to person because staph bacteria are so hardy. They can live on objects such as pillowcases or towels long enough to transfer to the next person who touches them. Staph bacteria are able to survive drying, extremes of temperature, and stomach acid. How can staph infection be prevented? Keep wounds covered. Keep cuts and abrasions clean and covered with sterile, dry bandages until they heal. The pus from infected sores often contains staph bacteria and keeping wounds covered will help keep the bacteria from spreading. Reduce tampon risk Toxic shock syndrome is caused by staph bacteria. Tampons left in for long periods can be a breeding ground for staph bacteria. You can reduce your chances of getting toxic shock syndrome by changing your tampons frequently, at least every 4 to 8 hours. Use the lowest absorbency tampon you can. Try to take alternate tampons with sanitary napkins whenever possible. Keep personal items personal. Avoid sharing personal items such as towels. Sheets, razors, clothing, and electric equipment. Staff infections can spread on objects as well as from person to person. Wash your hands. Careful hand washing is your best defense against germs. Wash your hands with soap and water briskly for at least 20 seconds. Then dry them with a disposable towel and use another towel to turn off the faucet. If your hands aren't visibly dirty, you can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Take food safety precautions. Wash your hands before handling food. If food will be out for a while, make sure that hot food stays hot above 140 degrees Fahrenheit and that cold food stays at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Refrigerate leftovers as soon as possible. Wash cutting boards and counters with soap and water. How can staph infection be diagnosed? By collecting a sample for testing. Most often, doctors diagnose staph infections by checking a tissue sample or nasal secretions for signs of the bacteria. We've come to the end of this video. Before I leave, please do endeavor to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification, not forgetting to follow us on all our social media platforms.